Before the video starts, I just want to inform you that I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday on Twitch. My link will be in the description if you want to check me out, I'd much appreciate it. Now let's get right into the video. The most common question from players that usually come into my Twitch chat or just even the, my comments or my Instagram DMs are just how can I get better? How can I rank up? And then they'll tell me like a whole paragraph and like a story on basically like they're stuck in like plat three or gold three and like they're always solo queuing and they're always blaming it on their teammates basically and never taking the blame for themselves. They see like no fault in their gameplay. So they're always questioning like what's the next step? What can I do to rank up? So this is why I'm making this video. So let's get right into it. Number one is very simple, it's just self-evaluation. Every situation could have been played differently and played better. So you can't just always blame your teammates for every single reason why you're a certain rank. Like I see a lot of people even base their KD off the reason why they think they should be a higher rank. But in this game, that stat doesn't mean anything in my opinion. And it really comes down to self-evaluation and trying to break down what you're actually doing wrong. Your best bet when it comes to self-evaluation is actually maybe reaching out to other people. Now, what I, my suggestion when it comes to that is try to get your friends, if you have friends that play the game and they watch you play, try to get their advice or even randoms, to be honest. So anybody that's a higher rank than you, if they can evaluate your gameplay, your callouts and all that. Because if you're in the mindset where all you're going for is kills, but you're so worried about your rank, then that's not going to mesh well. My whole main point is basically... It's never always your teammate's fault, no matter what you do in solo queue. Like, sometimes, yes, your teammates might do some dumb stuff, but you just got to put in perspective that everybody has bad games, and one day you're going to play bad, and you're going to want that sympathy because you realize that this game is all about timing and a team communication aspect. My next point is actually over droning and wasting too much time. If you watch Pro League, you can see that the pros either set their drones in spots that they're going to entry or they they use their drones properly and they get into the building very fast now i'm not saying you should rush and throw your life away but you have to be smart with what you're doing i was playing the other day with one of my buddies that it got his rank reset so we had like a i think gold one or plat three on our team and when i was pushing holding downstairs and on clubhouse waiting for the like the c4 to be thrown on like generic plan of cash I was telling them the plant, but they were just over droning with 30 seconds left. Now, it's good to drone. You're supposed to use that intel properly, but when you're over droning, you're just wasting time. Because especially when you're attacking, the time is against you. So you either need to get that bomb down or you need to get all five frags. I was constantly telling the, the two people that were droning that they need to get in and plant and I have their cover and just one of them needs to watch across while the other guy plants. They didn't listen. I had to literally go upstairs and get the two other entry frags and it was just the most annoying round now i'm not telling you to be stupid with your drones like you have to be very smart with your drones because that is so much intel gone and you only have 10 drones on the board starting into the round so even going into my next point is smart drone usage if you're not using your drones properly either setting them up in a useful spots that for you to entry or for your teammates to entry or even for when you die you should not always you should not have a drone in pocket like that it's just a waste of intel because if you die that's a drone gone out of the 10 drones that's left on the board another huge factor i noticed when actually looking at like gold players and below and even sometimes flat three is just their awareness like if you look at the positioning of players they'll they tend to more stack up and bunch up instead of watching smart angles which of course like for example, I noticed like if somebody has a Thatcher Thermite, for some reason Ash and Buck will be outside the garage waiting for them just to hold dead angles, hoping to get some empty frags. Now, that's good and all if you actually have a planned strategy, but if you're just holding dead angles, hoping to get kills, it's just a waste of time. Because like I said, time is against you when you're attacking. So if you're not going Thatcher Thermite, you need to be going other operators, like for example, Soft Reach, uh, like Sledge, Buck, Ash, whatever. And you guys need to be productive with your time because time management is so important in this game that if you spend way too much time just beating your meat holding dead angles hoping to get an empty frag then you're gonna cost you your round and even cost you your rank another thing i notice is a lot of players they have this mentality where they're playing for 
rank or their other playing for KD instead of playing for the win. Now, playing for ELO is way different than playing for the win because you're constantly nitpicking every mistake your teammates make and yourself makes, and you get flustered way too quickly. Even if you play like crap, like some, like you go two and seven, and then two games before you went ten and four. It's it's a real ego killer. But you got to understand that everybody does have bad games, and a lot of things factor into that. Like whatever role you're going, positioning, uh, like sometimes even like it's unlucky, and you got to be okay with that. Even if you're solo queuing and people are talking crap to you, like it happens. Unless you're doing broad, stupid mistakes, especially for for your rank then it's fine. Everybody has bad games, but it's just, it's not how you play the next game. It's how you recover from playing like crap. Like say, even if you're playing like crap, if you get all depressed and sad over your stats, that's, that energy is not going to reflect well on your teammates, especially if you're not doing your job properly. If you just get angry after you die and you're not getting on cams, you go leave the room, you go spectate your teammates. It's not helping for the win. Your end goal is for the win, not for your KD and not for your ELO. You need to play for the win. Leading into my last point, just overall mentality. The way you perceive the game and the way your mood is, it, it will affect your gameplay. If you're in a bad, depressed mood, you're probably not going to play well. You need to be as focused as possible while you're playing this game, especially with the team aspect involved. If Say you didn't get a lot of sleep or a lot of things out of your mind. I just don't suggest playing, to be honest. Like, if you have other stuff to do, get it done. Like, I understand people play a game like Siege and just video games in general just for, you know, an escape from, like, their real life or they just want their downtime, it relieves stress, whatever. But if you're getting stressed out over a video game and it's making you pissed off, it's just going to add on to your stress levels. Overall, you just need to be in the right mindset to actually play this game to... Fulfill your maximal capacity. Now, I would love to hear your thoughts on this video. If you think I did something right or did something wrong or you want me to talk about something in my next video or any type of videos, let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Um, sorry about the, the air. I have an AC on, so it makes like quite a bit of background noise. But besides that, like I said, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 12 East. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Pornhub Live, whatever, at Garfield's Doc. Have a wonderful day.